Praise the Lord and good morning to all of my children. My name is Mother Gail Trailer and this is Just In Case. Just in case on a Thursday morning. I got me a cup of coffee. Where is it? Right over here. Go get you some coffee, Jack. We got to talk. But before we talk, let's pray. Okay. Come on. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to please forgive us for all unrighteousness. Oh, blessed Savior, mighty God, strong deliverer, renew our minds this morning, Lord. Forgive us, please, for all unrighteousness. Restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. Lord, we love you and we thank you for all you have done especially, Lord, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Father God, for being a God that we can look to, for being almighty, for being greater than anything that, Lord, we may see, experience, touch, feel, smell. You're greater than we are. You created us, and we love you today, and we ask you to take us through this day. Lord, help us, Father God, to keep our eyes on you, to focus on nothing else, Lord Jesus, but you. And when we don't understand something, Lord, help us, Father God, to lay it at your feet. Because you will, glory to God. Make all things plain and visible. You'll help us to understand. And uh, there's a song that says we'll understand it better by and by. Well, Lord, until then, just help us to stay focused. In Jesus' name, amen. Give me a minute, children. Thank you for your patience. I wanted to hear a song that brought joy to my heart. Listen to this. I don't own copyright uh, privileges, but it's a song that is dear to my heart. Listen. knew that I was free. When my Savior found me, put his arms around me, oh, the joy, joy, joy that came to me. Oh, the joy. Remember when the joy came to you? Remember when the Lord came in and when you let him in, remember when you confessed your sins, do you remember him wrapping his arms around you? I do. It was an awesome event. I'll tell you why. Well, I was in sin, and uh, I was ashamed. My mentality toward my life had gone, you know, I, I, you're raised a certain way. And 
what I thought about my life and my, just my being was less than zero. And uh, you know, that's just what the enemy wants us to think, that we're nothing. No one loves us. Uh, we don't love ourselves because we don't know what love is. But when I came to the Lord at a very low estate, the Lord reached down and touched me. And to this day, he keeps doing it. He just keeps reaching down and touching me in my lowest state. Been through many trials and many tribulations just like you. I've had many ups and many downs, many testings, many victories, many defeats, many oopsies. You know, when you fall and you get up again. Well, when you, you, you know, when you've walked a little while with the Lord, uh, and especially when you're alone, the enemy begins to, I mean, he never stops. He's, he, it's something new all the time. Just lately, and I mean last night before I went to bed, I, happened to be looking at YouTube. And I just grazed over and tuned in to some of the uh, ministers and uh, the prominent ministers. Uh, my pastor, uh, Adams, uh, Pastor Noel Jones, um, the pastor of New Life. I, I don't know his name because I don't, you know, I don't frequent uh, his station. I saw uh, Ravi, Pastor Ravi, I forgot his name. Anyway. And most of those ministers uh, have come through some ordeals. And right now, it seems that uh, either the Lord is cleaning house and uh, we are beginning to see, at least I am, beginning to see some of the things that, uh, you know, some of the pitfalls. It um, seems like, you know, the enemy told me the ministers are the greatest actors in the world, you know. And they have to be. To bring the Bible, to, you know, into uh, a life, you've got to portray what you are reading. You've got to uh, paint a verbal picture. Sometimes we uh, use uh, the raising, you know, people have, I've been to church in ye for years, use the raising of the voice, you know, you start off slow and then they raise, the crescendo raises, and uh, they know how to evoke emotion. They know how to lower the voice and how to uh, demand uh, attention. However, these are different, uh, um, what would you say? They're different, just effects. Some are very good at them. Some are very good at uh, using uh, words. Hallelujah. However, there, there is also... Uh, B 
been some attacks on ministries uh, where uh, people are um, who have been wounded uh, in the church, uh, where they are are uh, exposing and you know saying this and that and telling and and and. Uh, And I, I got up this morning, I was quite perturbed, quite saddened by it all. You know, just sad. I said, we're a sorry lot, you know. And the enemy helped me to, to, to uh, come to that summation. I just tuned in to the different ministers. This one, that one, the other one. The denomination did not matter. Well, I slept peacefully. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, uh, the enemy uh, let me see. And he encouraged me to, to partake in a, uh, a little research where he threw in, you know, threw rocks and darts. See these men of God there. That whole church thing is a phony. I don't know why you keep going to church, he says to me. That ain't ain't nothing to it. And uh, I had heard also that, um, you know, from my group, that uh, sometimes your family members don't uh, want to listen to you because they have seen you indulge in sin. They've seen you at your worst. And uh, I had to think about that thing, and that's true. That is true. My family has seen me at my worst. Anybody knows me, really knows Gail. She has been the gamut, you know, from Good, the bad, the down, out, over, under. Hayata Mosia. But by the grace of God, I'm, I'm here today. It's his grace. Well, I got up this morning and I, I said to myself, I'm going to talk to the Lord. And uh, that is exactly what I did. I talked to him. <laughs> If you don't have a Savior, if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you you taking time out and going to a psychiatrist's office, well, you're foolish. You're foolish. Let me tell you why. Because he's a mind regulator. You know, when the enemy comes in and tell, talks to you and tell you all kind of crazy silliness, you can go lay that thing at the altar. That's why I love it. I, I knelt down this morning intending to spend me some time in the garden. And I did. And I said, Lord, I'm, I'm looking at my pastors. I'm looking in the faces of my pastors. And I'm saying, you know, they, they, they're human. And they have, have, they have lives. And they go through struggles. And they have a weakness just like I have weakness they have strengths like I have strengths you have them too you have weakness and strengths I'm looking at the men of God and saying Lord is this phony is all 
of this just to act? For money? For money? Is that what the whole thing is about? The Lord told me after I cried and wept and boohooed about the whole thing, He told me, Keep your eyes on me. Keep your eyes on me. He knows about us. And, and he knows how to, how would you say? He knows how to expose and how to uh, correct and how to fix this whole thing. Our times are in his hands. Can I tell you this morning what he told me? He told me that he created us in his image and that he loves us, all of us, with our weaknesses, with our strengths, with our silliness. He's patiently waiting for us to come on in so that he can come down and do what he has to do. He just wants us to keep our eyes on him. Don't look to your pastor as a God. He's not God. As a matter of fact, when he becomes God, the Lord will kind of take that scale off of your eyes and you'll see him. <laughs> because remember, our God is a jealous God. You'll have no other gods before him. I'm, I'm just thankful this morning. Because he touched me. Because uh, I had, uh, as I was looking through my YouTube, then I saw me up there. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, those pastors had thousands of viewers. They had been in the ministry for years and years and years. I had maybe two or three viewers. Some places I had 10 or 20. But these men and women of God had thousands. And I began to say, you know, as I looked at them, I looked at me. And, and the Lord whispered to me, you're amongst them. You are telling others how to live with Jesus in their lives, how to, to come to him, how, how good he is, how good, you know. Uh, you know, the enemy began to condemn you. You have nerve. You have a lot of nerve. <laughs> but I prayed this morning, and the Lord told me, Keep my eyes on him. You children, keep your eyes on him. Don't look to man. You know, we like to idol it. I, I, our hearts idol, idolize. We idolize people. Young Christians, we, you know, have a tendency to idolize man. But God doesn't want us to idolize anybody on this earth. He's a jealous God. Listen to this scripture. Uh, 
I want to give you this scripture because this is what the Lord gave me. And, and David wrote it out of uh, Psalms 8, 1, 3 to 4. He wrote, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. When I consider your heavens, David says, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you're mindful of him? Human beings that you care for them. What is man, you know, David said, why do you love mankind? He probably looked at, at different leaders as well. He thought of himself and said, why would you want to be bothered with us? But David had enough ner uh, sense to look upward as well. When he said, what is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. All of that was to give God glory for his, for his just caring. We're, we're not worthy of, of what he does and how much he loves us. Because you know we're up and down, in and out. Sometimes our motives aren't pure. Sometimes our past is shady. You know, even our, our present, sometimes we, we caught up in, 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 in all kinds of, you know, this happened and that happened. And, and we just can't seem to, you know, get that holiness about us every day. We, we were short-tempered. We're unforgiving. We carry unforgiveness. We, we, we fail to obey. We have a lot of shortcomings, but we have a God that loves us. And, and what kept David, Harabosha, what kept David alive in his lifetime is that he focused on the living God. I don't care what's happening around you. I've got some children right now that the enemy's picking at them. But you know what? Let me tell you this. All things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and to those who are called according to his purpose. My heart is broken for these children because they've got to go through this. They've got to go through this. And I thank God that, see, I don't have to worry about that. I can even place that in God's hands. And I will not allow that to affect me during the day. I will not allow the, the fact that there are false prophets, that there are people all over this world who are <sighs> hmm, leading the flock, but their motives are, are not where they should be, and uh, people are, are falling. And, and it, it's not my business to, to point a finger at anybody because I'm in this too. But David said, and David was a conquering king, a warrior. Okay, a warrior. 
and he stayed before God. He talked to God. He felt God. He knew when a uh, 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 sin had led him away from God. He knew how to get back to God. He talked to him. It wasn't perfect. None of us are. But he wrote, Oh Lord, our Lord. How majestic. Is your name in all the earth? Just your name is majestic. You've set your glory in the heavens. Glory is beauty. Hallelujah. When I consider the heavens, when I think about the galaxies and the stars and the the planets and 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 the the just there there are millions and trillions of galaxies you know we just know mars jupiter and venus and blah blah what did it say in school my mother and i had nine pies that's that's all we knew my mother mars mercury uh venus Pluto, Uranus, Earth, uh, uh, Jupiter, uh, uh, Saturn. What else? There's one more. Uh, Uranus? I, I don't know. But there are more than those nine right now. We're finding that out. And God created this. A great big God. I mean a Great, great, great big God. When I consider your heavens and the work of your fingers. Now, if he made us, think of the human brain, the mind. He made the mind, the human brain, and all of the things and the facets that it was to control on this body. David said, when I consider your heavens, when I think about the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars, and which you have set in place, you know, <laughs> what is mankind that you're mindful of them? You're so big. You, you, you did all of this beautiful stuff, this beautiful world, and then you made man. Why do you think about us? But yet, power on. Uh, you you love us, and 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 David said, "What is mankind that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them? He cares for us. He cares that we're weak. He cares that we stumble. He cares that uh, we become." Uh, uh, discouraged and depressed. He cares. He cares. So therefore, what are we to do? We're going to do what he told me to do. Listen to this. After I cried my heart out this morning, When I knew I was free, my Savior found me, put his arms around me. All the joy that came to me. <laughs> the joy that came to me. Uh, I no longer felt, uh, uh, what? How do you feel despondent, discouraged, hopeless? He loves me. He loves you. He loves the men and women of God that are trying, that are coming through, that are doing the best that they can. 
in this sin fallen world. Those who are trying to gather their sheep back together after this pandemic. Ha! You watch and see, it's going to be good that we had been afflicted. He loves us. Just don't look to each other for what he gives. He gives joy, and that joy is the strength of your life. Not man. Not man. When our Savior found us, he put his arms around us, and he gave us joy. May God bless you and keep you. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and I'm going on in the Lord. just passing through.